Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel, where with the YouTube intro, we set off on our first jobs in Ruhr. As we've examined a little bit around the place for signal strength, we want to kind of go in the uh, building over here though. Well, it's obviously going to have a signal strength one, considering it's working on all the orbital tech over there, Institute of Technology. Before I do that, I think I want a little bit of battling to start off my uh, day. And run down my escalator the wrong way, because we want to go to over here. But why are you going the wrong way? Just because you can? Yes. It's kind of fun. Indeed. I definitely didn't hear that statement before and just replay it for YouTube. No, no, no. Definitely not. Can't ruin it, no. Right, we want to go... Nordia Highway? No, it's speed of by road. Oh, can we actually go that way? Oh, we can? We've got no quests out here. Never heard that before. No, not at all. Ruin the joke. Ah, oh, Am I the worst? So there's actually a highway out here with no monsters. Well, actually, with monsters. But no quests to do. You know, doesn't hurt to explore a little bit, does it? Fire! Oh, hello. Bug. I mean, we can get the treasure chest already before we have to fight anything. And if you know what I mean, we could just get some mass set in. Advantage is ours. Let's finish it. Right. Right. Let's go to work. What are you weak to? Ha! Death, probably. One of them lived! My turn. He's a freezy block. Go! So if that's the case. Right! We stand very still, because no one else has analyzed, do they? We have okay. battle scopes we could use, I guess. Hmm. Let's use a detector. Oh, I can't ruin that too. No, no. Analysis complete. Right, it's the Crimson Dragonfly. A large red dragonfly monster sprays lethal poison, mandating caution when fighting one. My turn. Let's finish it off. Ha! Give Reen all that beautiful okay. CP. It's safe for now. Ah, to start on a zero hearts every time we play. That's the good time. Oh yeah, links. I need to get them set up. I mean, it wasn't exactly that important when you were just instantly destroying everyone, but still. It wasn't the first thing on my mind, I've got to say. It was just kidding it. Snake parts are back. They can't actually chase me, but they can keep following me for about 10 million years. Now's our chance. Let's get them. Right. right, link time. Who do we link between? We have art support and powerful strike. What does art support actually even do? That sounds like it would help someone doing arts. Let's link. Uh, let's auto tier for multiple people, if you know what I mean. So, I think those two are pretty good linked together. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analyze away. Analysis complete. A certain monster that lives in an exceptionally hard egg of a large bird. Its fangs can petrify enemies. Oh, great. I'll handle it. Seems like petrify or thingies. Oh, wow. You're actually better with him. Not very good with Alyssa. Maybe I'll have Alyssa and Reen then. Hmm. Maybe I'll have it that way around then. Rather than try to sort things out. Here I go. I'll get you up. Here we go. One target hit there. So now they've got rush two. Wonder how that'll work out for me, you know? It's my turn. Especially considering that Pierce is most likely gonna break every time. Nope. Oh, 300 my damage. Turn. That's some physical damage. Unreal kind of crazy go. damage. I guess we should just break them all then at this Second point. Damn. Right. Even hit a critical on the last one. I can do this. Can you? Fire. No. I'll handle it. No one wants to stagger this guy at all. <laughs> Fee, you didn't dodge. I am upset. Is everybody okay? You think they're cute? The snakes that have basically scavenged the corpse shells of baby birds. They're cute. Oh, oh, you're not let me pass? Oh, this area's currently off limits. We can't let you through. 
Off limits? Why? There's nothing special here. There's none of your concern. Just turn around and walk away. I guess there's not much else we can do. Ooh. Something's happening back there. So there is something getting us off and going this way. You can always count on provincial army soldiers to be arrogant as hell. Hmm. Wonder what they're doing out here. Makes you wonder. I mean, we might get a quest involving them. Are they doing some kind of experiment around there? I worry on people's ideas of cutes. Yes, the snake wiggly one. All snakies are adorable, are they? But they're basically living in the, uh... <laughs> oh, not you! That looks like a tough one. Watch out! You can't get these guys in a nice way. You can back at them, right? Are you going to stop following me? No, nope, you can't back at them at all. Watch I thought you could get them as they turn one. around. We've got Pingus. A great grouse they are now. Weak to fire and earth. And mad penguins are back. Psycho Pingu is here. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I've got it. A giant avian monster that lives in mountainous regions creates whirlwinds which tear living things to shreds. Okay. Nice description, always. I'm saying we just end this. There you go. Still be dead. Gets eliminated. More than okay. eliminated. Like twice double eliminated. Well, take him out when you can take him out. I guess one reason about having not Alyssa and uh, Alisa and Dream together is the fact that I can't actually gain any more bonding points with them. Oh yeah, this road leads all the way to your hometown, doesn't it, Reen? Yeah, it'd take you days to get there if you tried to walk it, though. Sounds like a challenge. It looks like the map does join up though, so oh no! Caught us off guard! Watch out! Whoops! I turned around! My turn. That wasn't what I planned to do. No sir. Give it up, everyone! It kind of moved a little bit faster than I thought it would. Too easy! Well, it's got guns! You can count it from any range, surely! Alright, Machius is in the group. And we've lost all our links, of course. I don't know who stands for who at this point in time, in a sense, so let's just get a word. Here we go! I can't hit them with that. Well, I can target flame impact a bit, but it doesn't look like I can get anywhere close enough to get both of them at once. We haven't tried that yet, have we? Okay, that one's sealed so it right. can't attack again no matter what. Locked and loaded! You won't get away! Ah, we'll turn that one into a statue! My turn! No one can do a thing! Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I've got it! A greedy wolf that came to the mountains in search of food pursues prey endlessly, attacking its windpipe first. It knows what to go for though. My turn! Basically anyone we go for will die. I thought you instantly killed it when it was, uh, petrified, but My obviously turn. not. My turn. Seems to be quite a bit of a delay on Macris's craft as well. 50% chance to petrify on an attack, though, seems pretty... Fire. Really good. Ah. Now that's what we expected to find. Okay, they are linked up. And I've just used Sylphie Dance, but I still have many other specials to use, and Lisa has hers. In fact, Lisa has one upgraded, doesn't she? Hmm. Could be an interesting way to die, right at the start. Bring it on! It's just a load of wolves! I'm not so scared of a load of wolves. I mean, I could probably put most of them to sleep. Nice. 
it was not very effective. <laughs> All right, we turned two to stone. One got sealed. Go. Basically, we stopped any of them from ever getting to attack. So that's fine. Who do I target here for the most people? Seems like you. Go. Ooh, I just do an assist. I got you. You're finished. Right. That leaves us with really one target left. Okay. So just basically <laughs> mow this one down. <laughs> if they can in time, that is. Yeah, just about. I'll so which one might attack next? That one's just petrified for all time. Now. Follow me, Elliot. Okay. <laughs> Should have done a rush with the other guys, not that one. I guess we should finish that one off. I think it's the other one in the back. Turn. Mr. Stone Puppy over here. Done. Not having a great well, day. We can't relax yet. No crazy big enemy. Just a large amount of them. A Zeus gem has been obtained. Yet another one to add to our arsenal. Right, so what's a Zeus gem? I don't know who to put that on. You've got holy breath, have you? Okay. Zeus Gem, Ragnar Vortex. Attack crafts can cancel arts 90% chance? What? So that's super impede. Delay plus seven. With a ridiculous spell. That's just impede super plus. Okay. Now what do I switch around in there? It's a wind gem and all, so we need it someone's wind slot. Do you want super impede plus? I'm wondering what to switch for what now, because we've got some really good stuff on her. Yeah, okay, we'll switch off the chrono break here. Put super impede plus on her. Switch the evade gem over to a normal slot. So now she's got one big spell as well, even though she won't necessarily use them that much. So at least if she ends up on a zero arts, we can see a cool spell. Do we really need this impede anymore? I could switch it for some other stuff, like a chrono break or something then. I mean, Reed has standard impede. You could add 60% impede on Gale. But probably better on Reed, considering he's our, like main in there all the time, but I'm just going to put it on her. Because Reen's so fast, you get so many turns anyway. Technically, Fee's super fast. What? Where's this thing going to turn around? Present your ass. Now's our chance. My turn. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. So with basically anything now, I can just, now well, like a uh, grenade, I can just use okay. that with V and just impede everyone with like a large range of that. Sweep's not exactly a short range either. Scud Rip is a bit different, but she doesn't have, oh, she does have a normal impede anyway, to be fair. Go. It's more about Reen. I guess, I guess it would make Damn. a lot more use on Reen. Now's our chance! I've got you! It's my turn! Fire! <laughs> that takes care of them! Oh, I asked many things to present their butt to me. I don't know why you're making like it's some kind of weird thing I said. <laughs> That's where all the preemptive attacks come from, right? We need it. Some more ground bait. If I ever want to get on a massive fishing spree, I have tons of stuff. Sepif. 
Alright, all chests picked up in here. Except the one with the monster at the very end of the road. Are you were guarding? Do they call you the guard wolf? Fire! Guard wolf. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Basically, this is the same pack as the chest pack. We're just doing it with again. The second form. Gale! No Your one's turn. burned, any of them sealed. One of them sealed. I bet there's someone close enough that I can get. Yeah, there oh, oh. Okay. That's damage. He's got a CP all the way up again, so we're good for that. That range on that is really low. Astonishingly so. Maybe I should be casting more arts for you, though. It's more to the point. Here we go. Yeah. Got it. I'll pick you up. My turn. I'm that guy. I guess he died in the front line. Oh, now we can't attack them all in one go. It was looking so good before. Arcus, activate. Ah, spellcasters, aren't they good? Right. CP up 50%. I'll take that. Okay. One of these wolves is on the critical. My turn. Oh, we did it. Level ups across the party. Any new My abilities finger. to be learned? Heavenly gift can now be used. Support set area M insight and CP regen. Grants allies insight stats and restores 20 CP every turn? <laughs> Isn't that insane? Well, that gives them dodge chance. And 20 CP every turn. Done. An A plus outcome. Yeah, more of that. Thanks. We're just getting some more ridiculous stuff all the blooming time. The abilities and crafts in this game do not try to be anything but overpowered. Looks like a tough one. This looks tough. Careful. Here we go. The second form. Gale. My turn. We've got some Bernie guys. Good night. I okay. sleep one of them. Here. Just use all our CP. One target remains. Looks like you're going to get one attack off. Or maybe not. Wow, I can use that before you even manage to do anything. Do you think that will kill it? Hey. <laughs> that takes care of them. It really does. Cypher has reached level four. Giving Crow Chrono Break a 60% chance for a, a random attack crash called status down. A offensive arts called status down 10% chance effect is random. So arts as well for 10%. Oh, okay. That really is a debuffing gem. Master Quartz Galore. Fire! Fire! See, she's good. She's, gu she's gun safe. She's bow safe. She shouts out when she's firing to everyone. It's a good thing to do. So this would be the reading's home, yeah? Looks like this way will take us to Ymir. Maybe I should pay visit home sometime. Yeah, but you'd have to be crazy to go from here there, there on foot. Let's turn around. Alright, the monster's down this alley. That's a big beastie. Crescent mirror has been found in the chest. That's magic reflect, isn't it? Is that a hint? I do wonder at certain points here. Let's just go on a random guy. Look here. So the Reflex 1 magic attack increases HS by 25% as a buff 2 for 4 turns. HS 980F plus 9. It's not bad if you want to like give something else for some extra ATS for some people. But to be honest, all our gems are, are pretty well set, I think, personally. Big warning! 
Well, I will save it to make sure. Nothing can be worse than Angelica. Nothing can be worse. What are you then? Oh, what are two of you then? If there's two of you like that, I'm going to move to like here maybe. And set up the line is what I want to do. Hmm. I wonder how much HP is the Rocky Croaker. Weak to water. Gale cannot hit two. All right, let's do this. Start with Buff then. My turn. I'm wondering if I can just go Chrono Drive or something like that. Speed up everyone immensely. Everyone's just spread out enough that they can't reach each other. I could, of course, do resounding beat too. Give it up, everyone! The Dongos, yeah, they are. They're okay. fancier by far, the Dongos, though. Technically, I could just kill them. There you go. If this kills them outright, that'd be hilarious. Also, oh no, I want to scan one. Nowhere near killing them! It's my oh turn. my goodness, what is 53k HP? Okay, now I've got a new respect for them. That I didn't have two seconds ago. I wish I could aim that. Seems like a bad thing. Let's use our new craft. Light. Rain upon us. So it doesn't work on her. Okay, they couldn't quite My reach turn. me on that turn. I guess that's a good sign. Because they're now in range of both <laughs> arc slashes. Sure. My turn. Oh, we didn't get the delay on one of them? That's kind of upsetting. Arcus activate. What? <laughs> they sucky sucky. Okay. Well, we're ultimate buff now. I guess we're not going to be able to hit with two here with anything. Which one are we going to start victimizing? I need to get the scan on when I can. Oh no, you don't! Stop right there! Molten rain! They don't seem to be burnable to the major, major perspective. I could probably check that, mind you. Burn is on a uh, freeze, faint, sleep, blind, poison. That's the good goals, is it? Too bad we can't get the Scud Ripper to go to both of them. I'd have to move Fee for that. Could move it right into the ass. Here we go. There. That's a better position for other things. Oh, we managed to get sleep on the guy that his exact turn it was. They're weak to water, aren't they? Arcus, activate. I'll handle it. And we've actually managed to blind one too. Here we go. Now. I'll pick you up. Did I get faint? Okay, we've got automatic criticals on one of them. Just before this attack comes in. Nearly a 10k on just one spell. Go! The setup's here now. Sir. That one guy getting crit like mad, but Here still quite okay. DCP yeah. already a ridiculously yeah. high amount. I'll take you up. Right. Just cast the spell again, shouldn't I? Even though I've got a critical on this turn. 
Arcus, activate. I don't think anyone can really do much, can they? Too slow. I get criticals on counters, man. Right. This poor guy. Fire. Just shoot you in the now. face. It's all good. Done. At least he's out of his fate uh. state. Did I get one? No. Oh, I froze one. My turn. Here I go. Go. No faint on the other one. Well, I think the Rocky Croakers have been dispatched with the greatest of ease. My turn. Here we go. Sit. Okay, it's safe for now. They seem to be quite highly defensive, but they could not stand up against stat effects as usual. Didn't even throw a bomb in their mouths. I know, I'm such an amateur. Do you material though? I did it. All right. An A plus outcome. Please hold your applause. No new skills though. All right, one of our optionals is completed. So let's move on to more. More the point, let's move back to Lua because we've got to pick up one quest there. As well as try to look for any other places where we can see a strength of one. One of which is obviously going to be within the quest area we're going to. Let's make our way back. See if any monsters have respawned on our path again. That's a nice little jaunt to start it off. Always want to clear off the battle rust when you've been in major story segments. Oh, there's a fuzzy bug. Fire! Now's our chance. Well, it's not going to live more than one turn. I can one tell you that. Turn. Now, most I can hit is free. Second form. Damn! We've got Elliot to follow up after all. Finish him low. You're finished. My turn. Do you want to just get a blue low by Did I ever detect them? I didn't think I did, did I? Good night. My turn. Done. But we can't relax yet. That's a nice easy nice bust down. Done. And seven thousand worth of Sephith Mirror. Sepith mess. One more enemy. Oh, what? I get out of my way, because I can't Stay get. I can't run past you, that's scared me. Careful. What the hell's that? Here we go. A hellish Tomartian. Tomartian, even. If I think about it in a different way. Burn to ash. Ha! I killed it! I didn't even scan it! Oops. I've got you! Well, it gave me an item. Uh, we got Burn Fainted Monster, so he's not going to live very long. Now. Broken. Nice work. I was just following your lead. Slow fist bumps. I'm a servant to mine. There was no water around for any fishing or anything. Would I like to know where the fisting area is? <laughs> I think you said the wrong thing. <laughs> we'll find it in time. It'll be okay. I didn't see water on the way, but to be honest, we'll probably be sent back out town. Actually, wait a second. Bridge. Was there a river going by or anything? See, now you're going to make me run into monsters repeatedly. It's all your fault. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a... Uh... Oh, there was water. Green didn't say anything about fishing. He didn't say, ooh, this is a good spot. I don't think there's fish here. Guess we go down there, though. Damn it! We haven't got Angelica, so we can't do any fisting of enemies. What we would give for having Angelica with us, though, you know? Beginning combat. How much damage would that be? Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at all these beautiful spells here. Zero arts. Well, if this is the case, what I'll do is I'll give a, right. a different zero arts person an even bigger bit of damage here. I can only put that on you like that, so I guess I better use the crystal flood. What? One lived? I'll handle it. 
Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. I'm surprised. Check everywhere for water supply then. Okay, Reen. You could have said it when we were there first time. Huh. We got three fish left on our fishing list. And we want a level to be strong, better than a Lake Lobas and you fish to start with. Whoa, look at him go. Ah! I need Nana Pro. Oh, this is a big one. Got a catfish. A yellow pendulum was got up. Isn't that really good? Yield two. I think we've already got one of them, haven't we? What mm. even is this? Well, everyone's got max EP huh? again. Even the fishing segments give so much benefit to your battles. Hoping for another catfish, to be honest. There we go. What even is this? Let's just check our fishing book and see where that landed up on the trail. So that is fish number 18. A large savage fish that inhabits stagnant waters. Stagnant water? That's not stagnant water. My old schoolhouse, the stagnant moor. <laughs> it's like it's the first thing I pick up. I was like, well, then this is in the wrong place, isn't it? Oh, now I gotta fight this guy Looks again. Like a tough... Be careful, this one. He's fresh strong. running water. <laughs> There's zero stagnant stagnation about that. What are these birdies weak to? We actually haven't scanned them yet. Probably should then, shouldn't I? Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. An avian monster that lives in bogs and throws small fish. It can't fly, but it doesn't care either. They got the same noises and everything, and they got the same attacks. Excellent. Second form. Damn. Now's our chance. Get him. Let's go, everyone. I can do this. Can you? You did not lie. All right, let's keep on moving. They were expanding their territory early. Living in what normally wouldn't support them yet. Sure. I get that. River rapids are pretty slow, yeah. Pretty stagnant. Anyway, that is one quest done. I don't even remember where to hand that into. Was it with these guys over here? I can't remember anymore. Where, where am I supposed to hand that one into? Right. Nortia Provincial Army. Report to the soldiers in front of Marquis Rogner's residence. Which was... Which way? Towards... This way? Sash and Iron Mine? Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I got it the wrong way again! No, oh, I didn't get told off this time. It's over there, yeah. That's right, no. What is Marquis rocking his thing again? I see those military guys. It's not there. It's that way. Aha! I remember now. Ah. If your link ability is rushed to, then don't you have to use rush, not burst through the prop? Yes. But I like the one I'm using because it's cool. Hmm. So you were able to exterminate the monster on the west highway, were you? 
Well done. That's some busy work off of our plate. Well then, here's your reward. Don't use it all in one place. Seven mass times 700. Oh yeah, I'll take straight cash. Thank you very much. Well then, you're excused. Wire monster is complete. That quest is done. Those damn railway military police fools. Now do they think gives them the right to come into our province? I've got some nerve. Have they now? Right outside your place, do you get some bad signal? No, because it's a blooming Marquise's place. It's not going to be that bad. We still need to find more locations where there is some iffy signal. Because we found the free for the quest, but it's not just going to be free, is it? We haven't even checked out what this is. Looks like a dead end. This was some kind of maintenance room, I think. Can I go in? The door is locked. Does it have orbital tech in it? We actually haven't found any area outdoors that would do such a thing, so it's probably not going to work. Or it will. Level 1. So it must have lots of uh, orbital tech in it. That's weird. You wouldn't figure a weak signal would be a problem outdoors. Yeah, I guess someone must be obstructing the orbital waves anyway. I'm glad we found Sarah. Seems like it would have been easy to miss. Well, it is the blimmin- What do you mean? No area on the map is easy to miss when it says question mark, question mark, question mark. The only times I've seen that before, I've ran over to investigate. That's what gamers do. Easy to miss my butt. Well, I do have a lot more set of master training now. So let's exchange some of that. The question mark means it's hidden and hard to find, yes. It's just a place we're not allowed to know about yet. Alright, do I buy weapons for some of the other guys yet? And I could buy some general's capes, but that's not exactly better for a lot of people. It's better for Fee. Let's buy Fee a general's cape then. And boots. Fancy new boots. One gives strength, one gives straight defense and agility. Gives evade as well, so definitely for fee. I bought two, didn't I? I've made the big mistake again. Or will I manage? I'll buy another pair of fancy boots. There we go. Fancy boots for all. Fancy capes for all. Everyone is fancy. The only thing we need to do is I kind of upgrade. Is it Alyssa's weapon at this point in time? Alright, so let's check for signal the one other place that we're pretty sure it's going to be kind of weird. The place where there's loads of all technology just hanging out inside. That was my definite. So this is the Ruhr Institute of Technology. We had a request from someone here. It's a famous university and research institute. Lots of the country's brightest technicians study here. And a lot of them get scooped up by the Reinford Company after graduation. They've offered George some pretty sweet deals to encourage him to apply after he graduates. Gallica's, or Jellica's orbital bike was originally being researched here too. I think George has mentioned that before. Sounds like they've got all kinds of cool stuff in development here. What are we waiting for? Let's go on and in. Right, let's go on in. Oh, we've been zooped. I think this is a good time to test it out. So obvious. Yikes, seems pretty bad here. Perhaps it's because the researchers use orbital waves in their experiments. It's hard to say for sure. Alright, we found five different areas now. Not bad considering we were told we could stop at three. Yeah, I can't imagine we'll find any more though. Maybe we should go back and report all of these. <laughs> yeah. Get out! That's our optionals done, maybe. Especially when they give us a text like that. That really is checking out every area as well. That is, you've done enough text, that is. That's purely like you've done it. They may mean difficult to find as in wouldn't think to check the device there. Not the location is hard to find. Well, they might have meant that. I'm really glad that we found Team Rocket Hideout. Yes, we did. They might have meant that, but to be honest... The, the lead we were given was orbital technology that was active. If it's a 
room like that size is what it says that it's most likely going to be. So, I guess it requires you to go there and check what the door says and see what, well, more to the point here, the text that Alyssa is saying. Alyssa. We your investigation, I take it? Yes, we did. Well, let's give you our report. Right, they returned Chief Johans Orbital Wave Detector and gave their report on the investigation. I see. So all in all, you found five different areas with a signal strength of one. So they all have low signals for different reasons too. This data will be invaluable in furthering our research. You've done excellent work today. I really owe you. Not at all. <laughs> all we did was walk around town, really. But we're glad to have been in service. By the way, I couldn't help wondering when we were on our little jaunt. If we're in an area with a signal strength of one, does that flat mean we won't be able to make a call in our Arcus? Nah, you should still be fine. What's the problem then? Well, the problem is... This has to do with the rollout of the orbital net, doesn't it? Got in one. I should have guessed you'd figured it out. I live in a one area. Uh, for the less technically inclined, what does that mean? Well, I can't pretend to be an expert on it myself. But what we've done today is taught you that orbital waves can be unstable by virtue of being wireless, right? Plus, the amount of data you can transfer wirelessly is less than you can transfer through a wired connection to begin with. And as long as you're just transferring voice data through orbital waves, low signal strength isn't a huge problem. But if you're transferring more complex data, like the text or picture files on the orbital computers of the Academy, a low signal strength would pose a problem, correct? So in other words, it's trying to increase the amount of information you can transfer wirelessly. Or that orbital net thing, or whatever you call it. Exactly. The orbital net has only just started to gain traction here in Airbonia. The Epstein Foundation in particular is making a lot of progress with their research in the field. There's even a project underway to connect Le Mans State and Croswell State with a wireless network. So we can't exactly sit on our hands here. And that's where this data you've gathered comes in. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Hmm, <laughs> be honest if you did. Anyway, I think I've kept you long enough. Here's your reward for a job well done. An ancient glyph. Well then, good luck with whatever you got left. I really appreciate what you've done for me today. It was our pleasure. Keep up the good work. Can you hear me now? It's completed. So, wireless internet is being rolled out across Erebonia by the sound of it. It's only completely hackable in this kind of state. Still, what a wild coincidence that four students ended up helping me out. This might sound like a strange question, but is Instructor Makarov doing alright these days? Well, I suppose so. He does a lot for us as an instructor. But that's what you're asking. Oh, it's just that he's my brother-in-law. My wife's his elder sister. It sounds like teaching at fours is a good gig, but I still worry about him sometimes. Wait, you're Mint's dad? I, I see. It's kind of weird to think that our instructors are actual <laughs> people with lives. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> well, it's good to hear that things are working out for him. He's a smart man. He was top of his class at the Institute of Technology, then went to the Imperial Institute of Science. I've always thought his current position seemed like a bit of a waste of talent. But maybe it's the best place for him after all. Does that make him Mint's dad? Considering Mint is Makarov's niece. I mean, there could be another relation there that allows that to take place, of course, but still. Let's go with the repair shop jackass. Uh, no, I didn't want to exchange. I don't want to talk either. Go away. You're not the normal orbital shop. The normal orbital shop's downstairs. Why'd I come to you? I can't, I can't hear anyone now. No, sir. That's what I want to do. So, no, it's customized weapon. Do we have enough now? We do. So we've already done the Open Delta, the Avenger. It's the Platinum Bow we need to do next. Money! I'm lacking money. Let's sell the Gemini Star then. I'm so glad Gorelia Fortress gave us all that beautiful U material. So that's got some extra speed, some extra range, some ATS on it as well. Not bad, not bad. Let's go in over there. Uh, that is not the way up. I guess I'll go through the elevator. Ride the shoe pop. I <laughs> just ran over their car and accidentally trash it. Alright, let's check out the Institute of Technology. So if you apply Alice's theorem here, then this becomes this. Oh, sorry, can you not bother me right now? I'm busy. Uh, Elisa Reinford. 
that was the courageous, sir. Professor Thompson's been working on it for a while now, right? Yeah, he was on even on board during his maiden flight collecting more data. I'm surprised Professor Schmidt wasn't involved with his development, though. Not me. Some other projects have been taking up all of his time lately. Once Professor Schmidt starts researching something, that's it. He just tunes out the world around him. He won't be researching anything else anytime soon. Apparently, he was busy researching combat links or something until recently. That was way too complicated for me, though. So you're who I need to speak to. Ah, are you a visitor? Oh, you're here to handle a request. Rato is waiting for you over to your left. Please go and speak with him. Good day and welcome to the Rua Institute of Technology. Sorry, but I'm afraid we can't permit visitors to go beyond this area. If you have specific business here, though, please let me know. No, nope, we are happy with doing our requests now. Now we've got the optionals out of the way. Ah, judging by those uniforms, you're all students, aren't you? They look kind of familiar, too. We're students from Force Military Academy. Are you the Rato who sent in a request for us? Ah, so you're the students from Force. Of course, of course. No wonder your uniform looks so familiar. That's the Academy George goes to. To be honest, I'm a bit uneasy about leaving this to you, but you look pretty strong, so hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> I figures George would have connections here. Still, gonna go on a limb and guess that if you're worried about how well we clean up in a fight, it must be a dangerous job. Kinda, yeah. Let me explain what I'd like you to do. You've heard of Professor Schmidt, right? The name does sound familiar, yeah. Professor G. Schmidt, I believe. He was one of the leading disciples of Professor Epstein, the father of the Orbital Revolution. He's a really famous scholar in his own right. He followed in Epstein's footsteps and his work helped popularise Orbmans. Indeed, he's generally spoken of as something of a le living legend. Professor Epstein also has two other famous students, Professor Russell and Professor Hamilton. Their names tend to crop up together quite often in the Orbital Sciences. Yeah, I doubt there's a researcher out there who isn't familiar with those three and their work. Huh, besides that though, if I'm remembering right, Professor Schmidt also serves as president of the Ruhr Institute of Technology. Ah, oh, you don't say. Oh, I wasn't aware of what he was doing these days. Yeah, he's continuing his research here at the Institute. He can be pretty difficult to deal with at the best of times, though, so he doesn't really do public appearances these days. All these professors are difficult with the public. I want to say, you seem pretty well informed. Is he an acquaintance of yours, Elisa? Not as such, but he's apparently an old friend of my grandfather's. It's because of the orbital technology the professor brought back to the Empire the Rhineford Company grew so large. At least that's what I've been told. So that's how the Empire's largest company hit the big time, huh? So you're Chairman Arena's daughter, huh? Tech must run in the rain for blood. You might not know, but the Professor's been involved with the development of the Arcus units and the Orbital Staves, too. Well, seriously? I did have a feeling that might be the case. The tech used in the Arcus units seems more advanced than anything I've seen in the standard issue battle ordinance made by the Foundation. And it sounds like the only person who could make something like that would be this Professor, then. Sounds more like a wizard by the minute. The reason I started with this little history lesson is because this request comes from Professor Schmidt himself. I work as one of his assistants, so I put in the request on his behalf. Anyway, I feel like I'm taking your ear or talking your ear off, so let's move on to explaining what it is I'd like you to do. By all means. Okay then, I want you to enter the Sashen Iron Mine and bring me back a small quantity of a minor metal called Linium. What's a minor metal? It's a category of rare metals often used in technological development, but I've never heard of Linium. I'm not surprised, it's not especially well known even for a minor metal. However, it's got some exciting potential applications in a new airship engine that's cur currently in development. Is it Linium or Inium? Because it's just like a... it's a name of something, so usually it would have... would it have a capital? Why am I pro like, grammar problems now? That'd be quite the mechanical coup. Kinda makes me think of the Courageous. Ah, huh, it's actually related to that as a chance would have it. In addition to the Rainford Company, both the Foundation and ZCF were involved in the development of the Courageous. Our university is participating too, which has gained us access to all sorts of new technology as a result. Right now, we're working day and night to see if we can push what's possible with an airship engine. Okay, so now we know why you guys want the uh, linium, linium uh, for, but why us? Well, extremely small quantities of linium have been extracted from one of the mine's tunnels, but a few years ago, dangerous monsters started taking up residence right in that very tunnel. I think it's an L. In the end, it had to be sealed off before we could obtain a large enough sample to run tests on. Hmm, that story does sound familiar now that I think about it. And if the ore doesn't have any proven applications, it won't be easy to get permission to access that tunnel. That's where we stand at present. If the press were to petition the army, there's a possibility they'd go and secure a necessary sample. But like I said earlier, he's not the easiest man to deal with. He doesn't want to ask anyone for assistance, not even the army. Sounds like a real pain in the ass. <laughs> 
I can't say I'm not concerned about these purported monsters in that mine, but if we can make a contribution to the advancement of science, we might even see Linium pop up in textbooks someday. Yeah, I think we should help him out. I do know the mine chief, so if we explain why we want to head into that tunnel, I'm sure he'll let us in. Oh really? That'd be a huge help. Still, it's an older tunnel and I doubt it's been retrofitted to the most modern safety standards. Make sure you're really careful when you go in there. Of course, precaution is the best kind of caution. To get to the mine, we'll need to leave town for the eastern exit on the lower level and take the mountain path north. Okay, let's get going. Yes, I do get in the end that it is Linium. And that it should be lowercase. Don't you ever have those moments where you're like writing or reading or like doing something and you're like going, Is that correct? Even though you, you are correct, you just, you can't help but second guess yourself. I do it all the time. You know you're right, but still, you go, mmm. Looks like we've got a long path in front of us. Whoa, this mountain path looks kind of dangerous. Well, at least it's maintained. Good grief, nobody said anything about having to climb a mountain today. I'm already feeling bushed. There's a freight line that goes right to the mine, right? Why can't we just use that? Oh, come on. We're students, not train-helping vagabonds. Let's think of this as another part of our training. Jeez, lighten up a little, you guys. Looks like there's some wildlife on this path that might prove dangerous, so let's be careful as we go. Roger that. He's just, like, ready to exterminate. It's going to be quite a long path by look at things. Well, as long as no one chucks some boulders down on me from above, I'll be happy. I'll be fine. Unless it's like weird gigantic spider egg pods. <laughs> then I will not be fine. <laughs> if you kill it, will babies spring out of it? Now's our chance. Let's get them. Right. I don't know springing babies. Analyzing enemy attack Bomb guards. spiders. I've got it. An arthropod monster that eats wreckage left by explosion detonates the poison sack on its back if it senses danger. That doesn't sound like it It I'll will do it on death. It sounds like it will do it if it gets a turn and it's already low. That's what I'm reading that as. Here. Here we go. Oh, my grenade turned into a poison seal grenade with ATS <laughs> down. That poor guy has just suffered every ailment under the sun. Second form, damn! Right. I don't think we have to worry about danger in that sense anymore, right? Yeah. Well, we could uh. send Fee in to see if it's true. Hostiles oh, neutralized. Guess we're safe. They're not good enough as bomb spiders as Angel levels up. Right, what new spells have you got? Cross Crusade has been learned. Also now recovers 100% of HP and CP plus 100 on KO. So she's straight back in the fight. And gradual HP regen when HP is low for four turns. New spells, you better. Take it. Seems a bit overpowered if you ask me. I'd smash that if I had someone who has a smashy ability right now. I think Machias might do, actually. <gasps> what? Is, is Master Cryon here somewhere? Fire! Now's our chance. <laughs> this, they're Cryon bits. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Interesting. Analysis complete. Weak to Earth. A rare infant monster has the unusual habit of freezing its prey before consuming it. Here we go! Otherwise known as the best of friends with us. We don't go for that one because we're likely to get an unbalance on this one. I can do this. He says blatant lies. <laughs> blatant lies. Only B rank, K. My turn. Still at my bravery points again. Targets eliminated. Let's get going. He's so bored. 
cryon bits all around now, eh? What's a chest if we follow this route? Ah, oh, we got the mantises that like... Is it girls or boys? Nice wiggle butt you've got going there. Fire! Now's our chance. We can do this. <laughs> He's like, I really want to do an attack. Death sickle. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. We're seeing a lot of old friends again, in a sense. I've got it. Okay, a bipedal mantis monster has sharp sickles on its four legs and attacks humans' necks on sight. My this turn. time, it does not have any like. Uh, it's not going, mmm, girls, mmm, boys. Nothing like that. My turn. Speed down, ATS down, life down. Hey, dude, it's not the right butts, is it? Right. Only if I could shoot you, you know? 2 HP. Let's go. Thanks. Never seen that spell before, and I wanted to get it off so we could heal up a certain summon. But that's a really nice AoE we heal. I didn't know how much value it would have, but 3,000? That's really good. That was a first. All right, let's go through these weird built mine shafts. What were they digging to in here? Oh, the, the dinosaur birds. That looks like a tough one. Be this looks tough. Careful! Right! It does look tough, yes. A rock. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I feel like I should nuke them again. Analysis complete. Another new material, a cunning ferocious bird that hunts on the mountain path. Reads the spray before carrying it back to its okay. nest. V, would you do the honors for me? There you go. There you go. Still feed dead. It's not a critical, so we won't kill the big Here ones, but they'll be pretty much down for the count after that. There. I can do this. Do you think you can finish it? Do you think you can? Fire. Good job. Go. Nicely done, Elisa. Same to you. That was great. High five. He put his hand a little bit lower so they can do it properly. But no, he's like, oh, I'm more tall. All right. Well, busted through them without care in the world. I bet it's a monster chest. Wow, you can see all of Ruwer spread out from here. You can, though the view isn't as nice as it'd be from the front. Huh? Now that's what I call a chest. Yeah, you would say it like that. Petrifies found the chest. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a new orb anyway. And I forgot to look at it, didn't I? Got the petrify there, but the ancient glyph. Defense 15, strength 10, summons a megalith high above, then drops it. Sounds cool. Do we put that on? You've got Ragnar Vortex, you've got your one big spell. Maybe on you then? Instead of Yggdrasil? To be honest, it's nearly as good as that, so let's give you that. Ancient Glyph, sounds kind of cool. I mean, he almost seems a bit cruel, doesn't he? Reen's like got his hand up for that high five so high in the sky. At least it's only tiny. Come on, just lower it a little bit. Be a bit considerate. Adjust to the person in front of you. Oh, it's a cool looking owl thing. See, now that looks cool. You're talking about snakes in a pot. I'm looking at this thing. <sighs> Let's get this over with. My turn. <sighs> okay. You can only hit four max. Chance. I've got you. You're finished. Oh, well, that's one done. Right. No one else I can reach by the look of it. I guess I should detect them though, shouldn't I? Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I've got it. 
Alien monster with beautiful wings. Those who witness its strange dance have a various stats add ah. It's a dancing owl. Abnormalities indeed. It's my turn. Stat affecting, eh? Fire! Now! Green! Rush two! Leave it to, Leave me. It to me! There! there. Okay. Seems like the attacks themselves are a little more powered up by the look of things. So that one's sealed. This one isn't. We did manage to delay a little bit. Oh, well, I resisted we whatever mysterious status effects were about to happen. There. I'll handle it. So I'll jump in and do the damage as needed. I can do this. One petrify. Fire. One unbalance. Now. One finisher. Nicely done, Elisa. Same oh, there's killing all the great. baby and cute monsters. It's fine. <laughs> I did it! They grow up to be done. more of a problem. Hey, I have to call them now, yeah, obviously. More of that. Thanks. Chaos Trigger can now be used. Attack set, line M, medium. Confuse 50%, nightmare 50%. Fires a bullet of pure insanity, can unbalance. Oh, okay. Confuse 50, nightmare 50. So either they're on the ground going in a nightmare, or they're uh, in a different kind of nightmare, killing their friends. Oh, a treasure chest! <gasps> really? A claim Solarion is in the chest. I won't even dare to pronounce that properly. Annihilates all with a beam of magical energy. <laughs> Fair dues. I'd like to put it on, but I kind of want some other effects on that. I bet it looks epic, but we'll probably get a better version of it in time that I'll be able to use at some point. Fire! Maybe I can make it soon. Go away, Mr. Owl. Now's our chance. Let's get him. I don't think confused att monsters attack each other either. Every time I've got Second someone confused, form. they Damn. just seem to stagger around. Uh, where am I? What am I doing? It's kind of a bit like that. Okay. I'll make sure I build up those bravery okay. points, he says, as he doesn't build up any bravery points whatsoever. Hostiles neutralized. Guess what's that is a form of confusion, yes. Not quite what I'm looking for. We attack each other. We get the worst type of confusion. That's why I have anti-confusion things on most people at all times. Second area then. And there's still a lot more to go through. Okay, let's take left first. A train track. That's the freight line that runs into the mine. I was slightly going to suggest we walk on the line if it's a bit faster then, but let's not do that because just what if the train actually comes at that point in time? Fire! We would not be laughing. Now's our chance. We can do this. I have to jump into the water below. Get out of there. All right, you're not weak to water, are you? Since everyone's pretty much weak to aerial, somehow I reckon we'll just get all our spells off otherwise anyway. Okay. Should be able to kill the foes in front of us before anything goes on, right? Right. Maybe not. Just needed time Target's for Elliot eliminated. to shine a little bit. Let's I didn't even on. use any EP. He's still at max EP. 